game we had confirmed? Like we're on 24. 28. Yeah. We were on 28. So for, th for those of you guys who confirmed and didn't come, Jay, right? <laughs> I, don't, I, I saw the I saw the list. I saw your name there. I saw your name there, man. You guys suck. All right. <laughs> All right. We got Betty Dan, Ganon against Yoshi. Now I can imagine this being a terrible matchup for Ganon. Yes. Then again, like they're all terrible matchups. For Ganon. <laughs> going for the uh, reading the attack. Going for the down air, but I actually don't think it's that bad for for Ganon. Like. Uh, Yes, it's hard to punish Yoshi, but uh, Gan has a lot of priority. Even though um, Yoshi does like a crap ton of damage, like as you can see, like uh, when Batty Dan punishes, he punishes hard. Yeah, right? and I he, mean, he keeps the percent pretty equal. Yeah, he is keeping up in percentage. Yeah, that's yeah, gonna be that's it dead. though. Yeah, that's why I say it's hard. <laughs> that's that's the issue. Yeah, this is the gimping. Uh, I've noticed that Batty Dance had like a big spring in skill lately. <laughs> He's gotten really good. It's all the calm training. All the calm training. Calm Junior, baby. And now I'm actually training Ganon with Batty Dance sometimes. Oh, very nice. There we go. With the fairy. <laughs> actually, really enjoy watching Dan play because of his patience. Yeah. He's very uh, not autopilot. You know what I mean? It's like, like when you're playing Ganon, you really got to think, and he does just that. Now, I don't know how much Yoshi experience he has, but it seems like he's doing, um... <laughs> 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 Alright, Vishal letting him get, get away with that. <laughs> ah, oh, that was really good by Vishal. Again, not much he can do in those situations, but, uh... Playing very, like... Very patiently and spacing really nicely. Yeah. And that's gonna be. Mm. I think he's gotta be a little bit more careful. And is that dead? No. Nope. nope. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Ganon's down B is actually a really good uh, combo breaker. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> DI away gonna, from the stage so that, that <laughs> so that he doesn't land on it. Um, one thing I feel like yep. is uh, Dan seems to. He presses a lot of buttons expecting. Again, expecting Vishal to do something, right? Right. Uh, almost like a. For example, like when Vishal was on the other side of the stage, Dan ran up and forward beat. Mm -hmm. At that point, it probably it didn't work because Vishal wasn't conditioned to want a shield yet. Okay. You know, yeah. and that's an option w that will put a shield. Yeah. Um, so I think Dan needs to get more control of those options. Uh huh. So you see right there, right? Yeah. Now I feel like as Ganondorf, um, what you want to do first. You want to use a lot of your safer, your quicker, safer options, right? Spacing up air, spacing your up air, uh, doing things like your neutral air, uh -huh. down tilting, down tilting, especially early. The forward tilting, this forward tilt's great. Yeah. Really yeah, nice. Yeah, very good. Really nice. That's a trade he wants. Yeah. And then like really saving those bigger options for later on in the match. Yeah. When when they're they're really gonna catch him off guard. Yeah. At this point, as a Ganondorf player, I feel you need to start reading or uh, what's it called, anticipating people attacking your forward beast if and when you hit it. Yeah, Buddy Dan doing really good right now. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, one five struggling. <laughs> as I say that. <laughs> Up here, probably. Up here is a really good option. Oh. Oh. Uh, there we go. That's another like there you go. The, the exactly. last stock he was he hitting a lot yeah. a lot of uh, attacks yeah. and now like the forward B landed. Yeah. Just like that, landing the forward B, anticipating Michelle to tech, and then punishing that tech. Yeah. That's what should that's what he should be doing now. At this point I don't believe he should anticipate the uh Vishal to miss the tech. Yeah. Because 
so far, he's teched every single one. Right. So it's pretty safe to assume he's going to keep teching them. Uh -huh. So as a Ganondorf player, you need, or as even as when, even when you're playing uh, any right, right, any yeah. character, you need to kind of uh, catch these out, catch these things, right? Mm -hmm. So you know how to fight against your opponent. Yeah. We got kind of an even game right now. Yeah. I don't think he should opt it for that because there was a platform right, right in his face. Yeah. That was pretty uh. Pretty big commitment for uh, that recovery. Yep. He's pressing a lot of buttons right now, so I can tell he's really itching for that kill. Yep. And Danny, needs to, Danny really needs to stay calm. Stay calm. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to stay calm. Stay calm. I think he's realized that he's just kind of a uh, yeah. Playing stay very calm. Spacely, uh, stay calm. Eventually, one of your one of your moves is gonna kill. <laughs> Especially with Ganondorf. Shaw oh. really taking control right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna seal it. Let's see. Uh, in that last talk, I noticed Dan was throwing out a lot when uh, Shaw wasn't near him. But there's yeah. a lot of back airs, a lot of. Yeah. The up airs and that kind of thing. Yeah. Probably just trying to like keep him away or that sort of thing. But Michelle is good at like uh, you know staying back and knowing when to go in. Yeah. So he should. <laughs> you know what I think would enhance dance play a lot is uh, the Daigo effect. Just a lot of do nothing. <laughs> a lot of do nothing. A lot of do nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because right now Michelle can expect him to do an attack or can expect him to do like a side beat, right? Yeah. Whereas See right there, right there. Down tilt into side into side beat. Yeah. Was. It didn't seem like that was something that was going to work. It, had, it didn't work in the past. Uh, Vishal has always jumped away from his options. Right. So, you know, I feel like a game uh, style where he hits and then and then uh, hitting with a non-committal move and then yeah, either going to another non-committal move yep. or just dashing away, you know? Uh -huh. Get, getting back to neutral or chasing him and applying positional pressure. Right, right. So I feel like that would be a much more effective way to play mm -hmm. uh, to up his game. Yep. A lot, of, a lot of things I see Raycom do as Ganon is uh, creep. He creeps, creeps a lot. You know, just slowly walk forward, slowly walk back, stand still. <laughs> That's what I mean by the do, the, do, the do nothing effect. Yeah. So it really, it really makes you think as if like, like, you're, like when you're, you're playing that, like, what's this guy going to do? Well, you can throw out anything, right? Yeah. And it forces you to play on reaction. And that's, uh, I think when you're playing on reaction defensively, it's, uh, you're at a disadvantage, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that was not a good option. I shouldn't have done that. But I did see something I, I really liked. Um, oh, very good. Oh, very good. Hit him with an aerial and just dash forward. Uh -huh. Then. Didn't do an up air into like a uh, the support B. Yeah. You got 33 percent. Really tough. <laughs> no need for a forward smash there. There you very go. Patient. I like that. Very patient. I like that. Dash forward, do nothing, and then punish whatever uh, Vishal's punish Vishal's punish. Yeah. Or his read, or whatever you want to call he, it. Yeah. Uh, he made Vishal like react there, and it was. It was in his favor. Because until the last second, he doesn't know what he's going to do, right? Yeah. Dan's pacing really well right now. Being very patient. See, like right here, he's throwing out a lot of moves. Yeah. No need. There is no need for that. Yeah. At least I don't think so. Because when you do that, as as somebody facing that, uh -huh. you're thinking to yourself, okay, he's throwing up moves and there's a rhythm to it. Uh -huh. You know, up air, back air, up air, up back air, forward tilt, down tilt, and you can kind of and because there's a rhythm to it, you can kind of anticipate where when when the moves are going to come out right. and where they're going to be coming from. Especially like with a, a character like Ganon, when you see an up smash, you know an F tilt or a down tilt is going to come out. Yeah. You see uh, an up air, you know 
maybe like a, another F tilt will come when he lands or a jab or something like that, right? Yeah. So as long as you know a couple a couple of links, you can kind of like get a hold of what what he's gonna go for, right? Or yeah. How he's gonna move and then punish. Yeah. V, v